everyone. I'm Miss Gianna. And I'm Miss Anna. Obviously, Mr. Matt isn't here today, but I am his replacement. So welcome to have some announcements. Miss Gianna, do you know how many weekends are left in March? Three. Exactly. That means we only have three more chances to collect money for Compassion Kids. Yuvia and Ulysses. In Mexico. Miss Anna is right. Our offering is actually going to help Yuvia and Ulysses and their families buy all the things they might need, like food and clothes mm -hmm. and school supplies and other things like that. Yeah, Jesus wants us to share with those who don't have as much as us. Giving our offering to our Compassion Kids is a great way to show God's love. So if you have your offering with you, you can go ahead and give that to your leader right now. We also want to remind you guys to keep doing your challenge cards. We do the prize draw on the second, the second weekend of every month. So make sure you keep it up. And finally, special guest Anna is actually here to tell us about our biggest event of the year. <laughs> you know what that is? It's CS Camps. Woo! It's coming so soon. In fact, some kids might already be registered for camp at this point. Very true. Registration opens on April 1st at 8 a.m. But some kids might get signed up early if their mom or dad is serving with us during camp. If anyone has a mom or dad or other grown up who wants to serve the week, let them know they can sign up right now. And then they can also sign you up too. And everyone else, make sure you sign up on April 1st at 8 a.m. Because camp fills up really fast. Really so fast. set your alarms. <laughs> yes. Me, Miss Gianna, and Mr. Matt will be there, and we can't wait to see you. And that's all we have for today, friends, and we'll see you next time. See you, bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Julie, and I'm so glad you've come to join us today. And my name is Gianna, and today we're looking at the last of Jesus's I Am Statements. Oh, I can't believe we've made it to the end of these seven statements. We've learned so much about Jesus from them. We sure have, like the fact that when Jesus used the words, I am, he used them on purpose because those are the same words that God used to speak to Moses in the Old Testament. And in today's I am statement, Jesus said, I am the vine. And I was thinking about how we could show that because it's kind of like gardening. Oh no, I hope you're not going to grow something. They say that people that are good at growing things have a green thumb. But I think maybe your thumb is more brown than green? Yeah, my thumb is more brown than green. <laughs> uh, are you saying I don't think I, uh, I don't think I could grow something? You're probably right. But I am going to grow something today. No worry, <laughs> it has nothing to do with plants. Oh, good. <gasps> What's that? That is a vine. Okay, well, it's not really a vine, but we're going to pretend it's a vine because Jesus said, I am the vine. Then he said, you are the branches. And they're supposed to be the branches? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay, okay. so, um, <laughs> I only have the French instructions <laughs> and I didn't do very well in French class. So I can actually only read half of this. Okay. And I was really, really hoping that your French is good and maybe you could help me? Okay, well, let's see if we can figure it out and we'll come back and talk to you and let you know how it goes as soon as you finish with your story time. When Jesus was on earth, he was both fully man and fully God meaning that he knew everything there ever was or is to know. He wanted to pass on as much information as he could, but much of what Jesus had to share would be difficult for his listeners to understand. To help, Jesus would teach using stories called parables. Other times he would use examples of things that occur in nature. One such instance occurred while Jesus was teaching a group of people while in Jerusalem. Jesus told the crowd, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Jesus knew that the people in the crowd that day would understand what it takes to plant, grow, and care for a fruit-bearing vine. By using this comparison, Jesus taught the audience how God cares for us. A vine is planted in good soil, watered, 
and watched carefully to see if anything is needed to help it grow. Branches sprout from the vine. Some grow fruit, others do not. Branches that bear no fruit are cut off and thrown away. These steps help the vine to grow strong, flourish, and bring about lots of beautiful, delicious fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a seed planted and left alone could grow and maybe even bear fruit, but it would not do as well or live as long as one tended to lovingly. Jesus continued by telling the crowd that God is the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. This means that God, the gardener, is our creator and loving caretaker. And Jesus is the vine from which we, the branches, draw life and the ability to grow and bear fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a branch not attached to a vine cannot grow or bear fruit. Likewise, Jesus taught that without a connection to him, it is not possible to prosper. Jesus was using this illustration to help us understand that only in him do we find full and abundant life. Jesus made it clear that if a branch is not connected to the vine, it is impossible for that branch to survive. The branch has to be able to receive the vine's life-giving nutrients in order to live. Without drawing on the vine's full power, the branch will get weak, shrivel up, and fail to bear fruit. These sad branches are cut off and thrown away. When we accept Jesus as our Savior and try our best to obey Him, we are like branches connected and fully drawing sweet life from the vine. Living a life connected to Jesus provides us with support, blessing, forgiveness, and the promise of never-ending life in heaven. Jesus longed for his followers to experience a strong connection to him. He explained that the keys to staying connected are love and obedience. Jesus loves us the way his Father loves him. Jesus explained that he shows his Father love by obeying his commands. That means for us to show Jesus that we love him, all we have to do is obey his commands. Obeying Jesus' commands makes him happy, and making Jesus happy will fill us with absolute joy. Our lives become like healthy branches that bear wonderful fruit. To remain connected to Jesus, we must obey his command to love each other the way Jesus loves all of us. Jesus showed his love for us by coming to serve and through sacrifice. We can show each other love like this by helping people and by putting the needs of others before our own. By focusing our attention, effort, and love on others rather than ourselves, our lives bear the good fruit that pleases God. Through this obedience, we show Jesus how very much we love him. As we show our love for Jesus by obeying his command to love others, we begin to discover just how deep his love for us is. Jesus now calls us friends. As friends, our connection to and knowledge of Jesus blossoms and becomes stronger. Our strengthened connection and faith helps us to prosper and bear fruit that will last forever. The friendship with Jesus that has begun in this life will grow and thrive for all eternity. Our connection to him will never end. Okay, I think we've got this figured out. These instructions do tell us how it works. If these are the branches, but just loose like this, they're not fulfilling their purpose. They need to be plugged in to the vine. The vine? gives the branches energy and power.
flower. A branch that's connected to the vine gets its purpose from the vine. What's its purpose? It can grow and bear fruit. <laughs> that God wants us to fulfill. But we can only fulfill it if we're connected to Jesus and drawing from his power. How do we do that? Okay, so when we have a relationship, a friendship with Jesus, we are plugged into Jesus the vine. We keep that friendship healthy by reading our Bibles, praying, which is talking to God, serving others and spending time with the Christians. When we do these things, we're doing what God wants us to do. And we stay connected to Jesus. And when we're connected to Jesus, he's able to grow fruit, all the good things he wants for us. The Bible talks about that fruit. Except it's not talking about apples and oranges and pineapples. <laughs> In Galatians, it talks about when we're connected to Jesus, our lives are filled with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And these are the fruit that we show when we're having a growing relationship with Jesus. Yes, that's right. It's how we can know that a person is plugged into Jesus. Jesus is the only way that we can have life that is full of all that fruit. We can try to be loving and patient, kind, gentle, but we're humans. And we just can't do it all by ourselves. It won't last. And our fruit won't be truly as good as it is when we're plugged into Jesus, the vine. Then the gardener God takes care of us and helps us grow the best fruit. That's what our memory verse is about for this month. We need a relationship with Jesus. It says, I am the way and the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Can you say that with me? Of two. All right. I, I am the way and the, and the truth, truth and the life. No, no one, one comes, comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Oh, that's a great reminder of how much we need Jesus. That's something I've loved learning through all these I am statements. Me too. <laughs> In each statement, Jesus is showing us how much we need him. And today's shows us our lives without Jesus are like dead branches that can't grow anything. We need Jesus. Jesus said, I am the vine. Will you say that with me? Jesus, Jesus said, I am, I am the, the vine. vine. Good job, friends. And thank you so much for listening so well today. We'll see you next time. Bye.
eyes on I'll hold my ground I'm gonna crash the lies of the enemy I won't back down Cause I'm not alone With you my God I'll conquer Crash the lies of the